So now let's look at defining the metrics. Now, what are the metrics? Basically, it's about defining the success. You could have great UI and a great inspiring challenge, but how do you know you've actually been successful in your project? So we want to look at three key things. The first one is the goal. When you're creating your prototype, what is it that you want your users to do? In this example, we're saying users to start using Express Checkout. So imagine an e-commerce site that has a buy now button. We want users to actually go and fulfill that flow. Next, it's like, what's the signal? How do we know that users have reached this goal? Well, you'll say users tap or click buy now. So then that will actually show that the users are doing or fulfilling the goal that we've created. And the way we check to see that it's actually happened is we see the proportion of clicks for buy now go up. And that and more importantly, result in checkouts because people could click buy now but not fulfill that. So you want to make sure that the metrics that you're creating actually fulfill a specific purpose. Otherwise, the prototype has no meaning. So you really want to create a great metric to see the success of your project. So the coffee on the go, the app we're actually creating, what are the metrics for that? Well, the first thing is we want to do is we want to get users to order coffee on the go when they're out and about. The second thing is, what's the signal? Well, the user selects a coffee and then orders it. So that's quite a clear signal that they've actually completed the task. And how do we know that it's been improved upon? Well, the number of completed orders. So a user could select a coffee, but not complete the order. So then that would be a failure in the prototype. So having these metrics at least has a, a goal for us to aim for when creating our prototype. So then when we come to testing, we have like a clear vision of what it is that we're actually testing. Remember, when designing apps, it's very easy to fall into the trap of having all these amazing looking UI without and completely forgetting the flow and the purpose of why the app actually exists in the first place. So again, we want to make sure that we have a nice goal. What would the users want to do? We want to make sure we have a good signal. How do we know that the user was successful in our goal? And finally, how do we measure that? So we want to make sure that all three of these things are present when we're actually creating our prototype. So as a matter of fact, what I like to do is write these down on a sticky note piece of paper and have that present at all times. And also the same with the challenge that we always make sure that these things are there and visible in front of us. So every time we're designing, we can refer back to this to make sure, are we fulfilling our goal, signal and metric? It's really important that you have focus. And the whole purpose of this course is really about having focus.